If you have spent any time in the PC gaming community recently, it seems like half of all conversations are centered around one thing, the RTX 50 series. It feels like almost every week we are getting a new leak or some release date or confirmed pricing. And the only real news we've gotten from Nvidia is that they are releasing some kind of insane AI chip and some Star Wars droids. Okay. Anyway, I decided to do some research myself and break it down into the three most important sections, specs, release date, and pricing. So let's get into it and try to figure out what Nvidia's plan for the next generation of graphics card is. With the release of every new card generation, Nvidia generally introduces a new micro architecture. The 20 series was Turing, the 30 series was Ampere, and the 40 series is Ada Lovelace. The 50 series will be using the Blackwell architecture, which we've already seen the potential of when Nvidia showed off their Blackwell AI chip this year. The too long didn't read on the Blackwell AI chip is that it aims to keep Nvidia's most important customer happy, their shareholders. And that same tech is being used for gaming graphics cards, so I guess that's cool too. While we don't have any specs confirmed by Nvidia, we do have something better. Leaks, rumors, whispers in the wind, little birdies that fly through my window and tell of sweet, sweet nothing. Boy, it sure will be fun to see how wrong we were later this year. <laughs> this chart from Red Gaming Tech sums it up. You can see that the 5090 could be one of the biggest jumps in GPU performance that we've seen. The 5090 boasts 24 gigabytes of VRAM, similar to the 4090, but here's the kicker. It's GDDR7 memory. GDDR7 is the successor to GDDR6X and brings greater chip density and faster data transfer speeds, and it does it while using 20% less power. And then looking at the bandwidth capability of the 5090, you can see that it has an insane 1536 gigabits per second, where the 4090 is at just over 1000 gigabits per second. One thing I'm looking forward to is that we might be able to run path tracing at a good frame rate finally. For those of you who are unfamiliar, path tracing is ray tracing's athletic older brother who is much better at it and looks cooler while doing it. But enough about the 5090. What about one of the more widely sold tiers of card like the 5060? We see similar jumps in performance, but most importantly, supposedly the 5060 is getting 12 gigabytes of VRAM. Finally. I think we gamers can all agree that it's about damn time. All it took was for AMD to give consumers more VRAM for less doll hairs for a year. And of course, knowing Nvidia, DLSS will most likely continue to be a selling point for their graphics cards. So I think that Nvidia will launch a more powerful version of DLSS, and it will probably include some nice buzzwords that you've never heard of, like AI. But enough about specs. When will we be getting our hands on these cards? We've all seen the same rumors for the 50 series release date for however long now, but it wasn't until recently that things started really heating up. Historically speaking, Nvidia drops the new generation of graphics cards every two years-ish. They usually start off with their flagship card. Obviously, in this case, it would be the RTX 5090, but Nvidia may be shaking it up and not releasing the flagship card first. Hmm, yeah, I wonder why that could be, yeah. One of the more trusted leakers and Twitter username perfectionist, copite 7 Kimmy, recently said Nvidia will be releasing the 5080 first at the end of the year in 2024. Four. He also mentioned that the 5090 may be releasing a couple weeks after the 5080, with the rest of the 50 series cards likely releasing throughout 2025. Nvidia did something similar to this with the 30 series when they released the 3080 a week before the 3090, but went back to the normal release format with the 40 series and dropped the 4090 first. So why is Nvidia switching it up again? I think it has something to do with AMD. Currently, AMD doesn't have a card that competes with the 4090, and from the rumors floating around, AMD is planning on sticking with GDDR6 memory, competing more in the mid to high end area of the market. If true, this means AMD is leaving the enthusiast here for Nvidia. So I think Nvidia's angle here is to release their second best card, the 5080, amaze everyone with a performance jump from the 4080 to the 5080 while simultaneously showing that AMD still can't keep up with them. And to use that hype to get everyone talking about how much more powerful their flagship card is, maybe to help justify a higher price. Again, all of this is rumors and me playing around with the what ifs in my head, which leaves us at price. <laughs> Ha 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 ha
My best guess is this. The 5080 will launch for around $1,199. My thinking is that Nvidia has caught a ton of flack for their pricing of the 40 series, but until the 8000 series launches from AMD, they won't have much competition. So why not capitalize on that? And when competition hits, they'll just lower the price. But for the 5090, I don't think they will play nice whatsoever. Even though they got a ton of hate for the 4090 pricing, let's just be real. They made a lot of money and a lot of money equals what? Happy shareholders. And I think they're gonna try and do the same thing again. If the specs we talked about earlier are real, the 5090 will be a god tier graphics card and enthusiasts will pay whatever the price is. And so the cycle will continue of consumers seeing scalpers selling GPUs for an insane price for months after launch. Overall, seeing leaks like this makes me excited for the next generation of graphics cards. The idea of path tracing being a thing soon is insane, but Hopefully the 5090 won't be the only card to run it well. And I hope it's true that we are going to see more VRAM in the 5060, a much needed upgrade in modern graphics cards. Specs aside, I'm excited to see the new designs from board partners, uh, particularly what ASUS does with the Strix. And being a fan of Founders Edition cards too, I'm excited to see what Nvidia's cooking up. I mean, the 1080 Ti Founders Edition card is probably one of the best looking graphics cards ever made. But, the positives kind of stop there for me, and hopefully Nvidia doesn't charge an arm and a leg for their product. And for the gamers who can only afford the lower tier cards, I hope that DLSS doesn't carry the 5060 like it did with the 4060. Finally, I want to reiterate that these are just rumors and leaks. Nothing is confirmed until Nvidia says so, but it's still fun to speculate, you know? Let me know what you'd like to see from the next generation of NVIDIA graphics cards. And if you want to see more videos like this or some insane builds, check out our channel and give us a sub if you're feeling generous or kind, you know?